Hello and welcome to How We School. My name is Joanna. I'm a homeschooling mom to a 10 year old. Um, and today I wanted to do a flip through of a book. I don't think I've ever done any flip throughs of a book, but I'm hoping to add a few more of these flip throughs since we have quite a library. And I, was, I know I love to see inside books before I purchase them. So I was thinking that others might as well. And I did ask on my Instagram stories if people wanted to see inside this book and they said yes. I am posting a few pictures of the inside, but this video will really give you a true glimpse inside the book and to see if it's something you're interested in. So today I'm sharing the Science Spellbook Magical Experiments for Kids by Kara Florence. This is by Source Kids Books, I believe. Source Books Kids, sorry. And um, this is new. This book just came out, I want to say this past week I got it in the mail. I had pre-ordered it because when I saw this on the Source Books Instagram page, I knew I had to have it. So if your kid is like mine and they are into anything magical, wizardry, these kind of books are great. Now, what I like about this one is that it's actually science based. Well, they all are, but they actually explain the science in this book. And I appreciate that. So if you're doing a wizardry year, a year of wizarding, whatever, you just want to add some extra science, um, or this book may cover some things you're going to uh, study this year in science, this might be a great addition to your home library. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So the science spell book, and here's our contact contents. We're gonna have an introduction. Then we're gonna go into infusions, which I wanna see is the biggest one, I'm not sure. Illumination, sorcery, alchemy, mimicry, and then we're gonna have a glossary. So here is a page showing some of the um, science spells that you'll do. Uh, forward for caregivers, just kind of saying how our draw to nature and science throughout history and the natural world um, has always been there <clears throat> and such. How to use this book, which is of course a great thing to have. And what I like is they let you know that each chapter highlights a natural phenomenon inspired by magic. Infusions are the pH and indicators. Illumination is light. Sorcery is forces. Alchemy is physical and chemical changes and mimicry is biology inspired engineering the introduction introductions of each section include interesting snippets about the historical aspects of the magic along with an overview of the scientific concepts additional more specific information is given on each activity page so i love that what to keep in your cupboard so another thing i appreciate i'm planning on i already have whatever items I don't already own here at home in my Amazon cart. I found everything on Amazon without an issue. So that way, whenever we want to do one, we don't have to wait to go purchase anything. We will have all of it in a bin and it'll probably um, on the outside say sign spell book materials. So butterfly PT, ground turmeric, citric acid washing soda, cream of tartar, rubbing alcohol, and glycerol or glycerin. And here are the things I, that are in my cart. LEDs, alligator clips, hobby motors, and switches. So those are things I didn't have. They're not too crazy expensive, any of them. You can find them fairly cheap on Amazon. So, and I figure if I purchase one time, I should be good. We'll find out, I will come back with that. So now you're gonna go into infusions is the first section. And I'm gonna talk about that. Got your plants as medicine acids and bases. I love how they cover the science on it. pH indicators found in nature. And then you're going to go to your first experiment or spell, science spell. And it's called the elixir of enlightenment. We have done this one. We had a great time. Now each science spell starts with a cute little spell right on top. This one says infusion of eternity, boil and steep. Partake with a friend you intend to keep. Serve to them a tisane so blue. Add yellow acid. Behold, a pink brew. And it says, brew a stunning blue tea that changes color when an edible added acid is added to it. So I love that. And then, it's a very simple one. Here's your supplies and your steps. And then the science behind it. And it keeps going like that. You've got, like I said, your spell and the science. And of course, the materials you need and your steps. And it keeps going that way. And now the next section is illumination. And again, here's some history and some information on light. And then your spell. Here's, uh, yeah. 
some more about this spell, your supplies, the steps, and the science behind it. So again, it's like that throughout the book. And then you have sorcery, again, some explanations. And then your, your science spells. And then we have alchemy. And the book is set up the same way throughout. Isn't that cool? And then our final section is mimicry. Shine that very well. This is one we're very excited to do. Isn't that gorgeous? And then in the back you have, sorry, got out of the screen there. You're going to have your glossary, which is great for new scientific words and improving your science vocabulary as you do these science spells. All right, so that is the science spell book. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more flip throughs of books. Um, this way I know that's something you guys are interested in. And um, let me know if this book is going to work for you guys. We're super excited to do more. As I said we've only done one of the spells in here and we're very excited to try more. Let me know what you think. All right. Bye.